The role of family found fame with Little People Big World and have since used the fortune to came with it to build a property empire to match. Pictures obtained by The Sun show the homes where the reality TV stars live, from Matt Roloff's stunning 100-acre Oregon farm to his son Zach's five-bedroom traditional home nearby. Most of the ever-expanding celebrity family live close to each other in and around the wealthy suburb of Hillsboro, just west of Portland, Oregon. Family patriarch Matt, 59, bought what would become Rolla Farms in the unincorporated community of Helvetia with then-wife Amy, 36, as a small fixer-upper on 34 acres in 1990. When the couple moved in, all they had was a beat-up old farmhouse, broken-down barn and overgrown peach, according to the farm's website. Since then, it has not only seen the couple's four children grow up and move out and into homes of their own, but it has also been transformed into over 100 acres, which feature in a pumpkin patch, pirate ship on a lake, three-story three-house and full-size medieval castle. It also has a regulation soccer field, volleyball court, mine shaft, tunnels, outbuildings and restored barns. The property is open to the public at weekends during the pumpkin patch season in October, and the family also offer 30-minute private tours of the property throughout the year. The Rolla's oldest children, 31-year-old twins Zach and Jeremy, have both started families of their own but still live close to the family farm. Zach and his wife Toria live with their 4-year-old son Jackson and 1-year-old daughter Lila in a $726,000 traditional home in Hillsboro. The 2,636-square-foot property sits at the end of a cul-de-sac in a quiet suburban neighborhood. It boasts five bedrooms and three bathrooms, Brazilian hardwood floors, a remodeled kitchen with granite counters, a master bedroom with walk-in closet, and an above-ground pool with surrounding deck in the backyard. Jeremy lives just five minutes away from his brother with a wife Audrey and their four-year-old daughter Amber and one-year-old son Bode. The couple, you are expecting baby number three, also live in a traditional home at the end of a cul-de-sac. Their 2,072-square-foot property features four bedrooms and three bathrooms, with hardwood floors, a sitting room with a fireplace and a master bedroom. Meanwhile, the Roloff's youngest son Jacob lives with wife Isabel in Bend, Oregon, while Matt and Amy's only daughter Molly and her husband Joel Silvius live in Spokane, Washington. The son recently revealed that newlywed Amy is currently settling into a married life with husband Chris Merrick in her $589,000 home in Hillsboro. The 3,767-square-foot property boasts a formal dining room which opens to a living room with surround sound system. Its light and bright kitchen features a built-in double oven, island and huge pantry to cover all of passionate foodie Amy's cooking needs. Meanwhile, the master bedroom suite includes a large walk-in closet, double sinks and a jetted tub with three more bedrooms upstairs. The property also has a covered porch in the back with a waterfall pond, which was described by realtors as perfect for entertaining. Amy and Chris have been living there together since he sold his bachelor pad and moved in last December. Amy originally bought the four-bed, four-bath home in May 2018 after moving off the Rolla family farm following her divorce from Matt in 2016. Meanwhile, Matt's current partner Karen Chandler also lives close by in a $405,000 property in the Portland suburb of Rock Creek. Karen's home has three bedrooms and three bathrooms, with an open floor plan, an office on the main floor, pergo floors, Korean counters, skylights and sailing fans. The Roloff clan made headlines again recently when Amy married Chris at Matt's farm on August 28th. A source exclusively revealed to the Sun that a beaming Amy was walked down the aisle by her father Gordon Knight. The insider added, the wedding officiant handed her four or five pages for the vows that she read to Chris. She stood on a step stool and wore a traditional white-striped wedding dress with a veil. Chris wiped a tear from his right eye while the preacher spoke and ahead of reading one page with his own vows. The happy couple kissed after reading their vows and then again after exchanging rings. Amy's kids and their partners were in attendance at the wedding ceremony, but Matt and Karen stayed away with friends and were not present. That's it for now, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to stay tuned.